It's Friday morning. What's the temperature say? 57 degrees, 734. How's my uh, Wi-Fi signal in the car? There it is. It's uh, pretty good. Yeah. How's my apps? How's my apps look? Yeah, my dad's being cremated this morning. So it's Friday right now. It's roughly, what is it, 734? Yeah. There we go. Maps. Open. Alright. Let's ask you a bunch of questions. Look at this. A bunch of questions. Yeah, because they know people drive distracted. They make it here where you're not focusing on the apps and your phone and all that when you're driving. You know what I mean? They're trying to make it where it's like, you know, they're trying to make it where it's, um, yeah, this got automatic crash detection. See right there? That, when it, when you crash and it deploys the airbags or you're going a certain speed, it knows your location. It knows what kind of car you're driving. And it sends help right away. Especially if you don't respond, they know you that you know that you're not responsive. They'll they'll, they'll call and they know your they, they know your uh, location right there. It's got an SOS button right there, but it's got automatic crash detection. Like when you crash, it sends signal that you've been in a crash, so it knows your location and it knows where you're at. You know what I mean? It knows where, where the county you're in. What's this? Oh, that's the green thing in there. Tells you how much carbon munitions you saved in the air. Right there. There it is. That's not it. Uh, I don't know. It's 57 out here. At least it's getting warmer. What's this? That's a Lexus. Got built an Alexa. Watch this. Build an Alexa. Alexa, thank my delivery driver. Glad you enjoyed your most recent delivery. We'll share your thanks with our delivery partner, USPS. All right. There we go. I was going to check one thing here. Oh, man. Where am I at? Home. Apps. Maps. Open. And... I'm going to look at the charging stations because people ask, why well, do you know where the charging stations are? Well, it's got gas stations, charging stations here, and it shows where the nearest charging stations are on the map here. And I know compared to last year, compared to last year, there's a lot more charging places. So, yeah. Well, just like gas stations when they came out, and people were saying the same thing about gas stations and gas cars. The same crap they're talking about electric cars. you believe that? They were talking the same trash about the gas-powered cars. Yeah, they hated gas-powered cars. They was talking trash about them. I'm not going to drive one. Well, guess what? They're all driving them now, just like these electric cars. They'll be driving them, even though they're bad-mouthing. See, it tells you right here. Yeah, and on the map, it's got a Tesla. There's a Tesla supercharger right here. Yeah, Tesla, Tesla. I'm looking for a supercharger. I want my car charged in five minutes. I want my car charged in five minutes faster than somebody pumping a full tank of gas. I'm looking for a supercharger. There we go. See, they're, they're out here. This eight chargers there, ten chargers there. They're all over. I like the other map better. This one's like a pain in the butt. And a lot of these are out of hotels. Down the ballpark, they got them. They, they don't have any around here, see? None around here. I mean, they do. A mile off the road. Right, there's one. There's three of them right there. Or there's eight of them right there. So they're, they're slow. Yeah, they're, they're, um, if I pull this out, you'll see there's a bunch of them. There's like a delay. Internet sucks. Let me hook the Wi-Fi up to this. There you go. There you go. That's my area. If you space it out, there's like, there's a flu of them. Yeah, see? There's a flu of them. That's how you find the chargers. On the, on the app thing. So, and it's got gas on there, too. Let me see gas right there. No connectivity. I don't know why. Gas. I'm looking for gas. There's home. It's on there. It's got gas-powered gas stations and electric, because people ask me all these questions.
about this, but yeah, isn't that crazy? Yeah. Alrighty, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get in there. I'm getting cold. It's getting cold out here this morning. I'm glad my dad's being cremated. They try to pull this stunt. Since his body was here 18 days, we're gonna charge you a thousand dollars for his body. I said, no, I'm not. I'm not paying no more. It already strapped me this month. No. Two deaths within 30 days. No, they had no life insurance. My brother died, and two weeks later, my dad died. Nobody had life insurance. I'm not even working. I've been battling multiple sclerosis. And I know a lot of people don't know what it is. And all, oh, there's got to be some kind of pill to stop that. No, there's not. There's no cure. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's no cure. <laughs> people can think, you know what I mean? You know. And um, when I said a friend of mine, my pictures of my uh, body inside, because they say you look okay, but I show them pictures of my body inside. They're like, oh, wow. Can those get removed? I'm like, that's scar. Scar tissue. That's damage. So they don't even know what it is. See what I mean? They're asking me, can they remove scar damage in your body? I say, it's like a, it's like a cut on your finger or scars on your body. Or, you know, and you're saying, get, get all that removed. Get the scars removed and get all the cuts removed. How are you going to get your, how are you going to remove your cuts? You know what I mean? Yeah, just like, you know, I'm in, a, I'm in a Facebook group that people have it. They know what we go through. And that's the best way to do it. Because if you talk to people that have no clue about it, they don't have no idea. It's an invisible illness. It's on the inside, not the outside. And I get this all the time. Well, you look great. Then I said, you want to see my MRI images? And they look and I said, what the hell is all that? I said, that is scar tissue. Thousands of them inside my body. Thousands. And though there's no cure, you can't pop pills and drink water to get rid of it. You know what I mean? It's just crazy how people are. Some people are. You know what I mean? It's crazy. Yeah. Like last night. I was up all night could get off the toilet you know like a drop the bomb and diary i mean that's what i deal with every day not the scar tissue down there on my liver on my on my uh there's a cyst on my kidney there's scar tissue down there all the white spots is damaged caught you know caused by what i got because it damages your central nervous system there's a coating on your nerves it's like a wire i know you know what a wire is you see that coating on the wire it attacks the coating on the wire. Well, if you had that wire hooked up to something and the lights start flickering, that's what my body does. It short circuits. And no, you can't take the wire out of my body and replace it and pop a pill and all that. I get all that questions all the time. I just sit there and laugh about it. These people have no clue. <laughs> you say pop a pill and it's over with. I, I wish it was that easy. <laughs> yeah. I th some people know what I got when I tell them what I got. They drop their they drop their draws and go, like, "Oh my God, you got that? That's the most devilish thing, disease out there. That thing is a devil." I said, "I'm glad you know, because a lot of people don't even know. They think you pop a pill and drink water and it's over with. I wish it was that easy. I really wish it was. Yeah, I wish some people was in my shoes and and deal what I know what I deal with, but they don't. You know, yeah, they just." see that and don't you know what it is that's how some people are just like they think there's a pill for everything and pills have side effects you know some people tell me oh there ain't no side effects with pills yes there is there's even side effects with side effects of tylenol and ibuprofen if you read the bottle huh. yeah people don't read the bottle there is side effects there's side effects of them covid vaccines too yep everything a man touch has side effects if you put a drug in your body, that's what it is, a drug. It causes other problems somewhere else. You know what I mean? Yeah, some medicine I take, it says don't drive while taking causes vertigo and dizziness. Well, they just put that in the bottle for the hell of it. I said they don't just put them labels on the bottle for the hell of it. They can get trouble for that. You know what I mean? It's crazy. Yeah, but I got to get off here. They're out there. Um, yeah, I got to get my daughter to school. She's probably in there waiting on me. You guys have a great Friday. It's Friday already, and I'm glad my dad's being cremated today. I'm going to call over there to make sure. These, plays, these people are playing so many games about my dad for the past 18 days. It's pathetic. And people make it sound so easy to get it done. It was so easy it had been done already. You need to drive down there. Well, my sister did drive down there about, I don't know, six times. Way out of the way. $4 gallon gas prices are sure. They make it sound so easy. Drive there, do this, do that. We done did all that a hundred times. 
He's still in the. He's still not cremated. So yeah, make it sound so easy. I'll have you deal with it the next time. You know what I mean? You deal with it. You think it's that easy? You deal with it. If it's that easy, you don't need cremated already. Yep. And the state medical board said, when a person's dead, when they pass away, they need to be that that death certificate needs to be signed within forty eight hours. A lot of people don't even know that either. Well, I said it's been 18 days, 19 days. You're like, oh, wow. If somebody can get in trouble. You have to go on their website and file a complaint, and the state will come after the state investigator will come after them and why it took so long. That's how it is. Yeah, it's crazy. Yep. It's not that easy. And a lot of people say, what paper you need signed? Well, they don't know the process. Yeah. When a body goes to a funeral home, they can't cremate or, or bury anybody unless the death certificate is signed by a doctor. A coroner's report, an autopsy, all that's got to be done before the person's laid the rest. If not, the funeral home can get in major trouble. $10,000 fine, they can shut down the place, go under investigation. Yeah, lot, there's a lot to it. People don't just grab a body and cremate it without signatures. The death certificate signed and sealed. Yep, and the coroner report, autopsy, all that stuff's got to be done before they're cremated or laid to rest. There's a whole process a lot of people don't even know about. I just told you the process, and now you know. In every state, it's like that. Not certain states or certain people. I get it where people say, oh, maybe your area. No, the whole country, the whole world has COVID. Yeah, people are thinking, oh, only certain areas or certain, you know. And <laughs> COVID is all over the world. A lot of them places had lockdowns, okay? A lot of the countries had lockdowns. When they lift the lockdowns, Two weeks later, spread the United States. There you go. I had it. This last variant was bad. I felt like I was going to die. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. It was terrible. Sure was. But anyway, I got to get off here. You guys have a great weekend. Thanks for listening. Sorry about the rant. I'm like, whoa, whoa, this guy must be nuts. <laughs> but anyway, I'm glad my dad's, dad's being cremated. I want to call him here in about 15 minutes to make sure. Because he might say, oh, we got another problem. That's the way it's been for the past 18, 19 days. Nothing but problem like they're delaying the thing. Delay, 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 delay. You know what I mean? I'm tired of the delays. I want him cremated. He's a Navy veteran back in Vietnam. Okay? Thank you so much.